Welcome. So this is the main T-Browse view with all of the different panels outlined. The Genomes panel allows you to select the different genomes you want to visualize. The Search panel allows you to search for the regions that you're interested in. The Genome Regions panel shows you the regions that you've searched for. The Samples panel shows you the list of samples that are available for visualizing, and then the visualizations show you either the genome browser view or the plot view. To start using tbrowse, you would first search for the regions that you're interested in. You could do this by either putting in genome coordinates or by putting in the name of a gene or an annotated region that you're interested in. Here you can use things like wildcards to search for all of the PKA genes that are in the genome. All of the search results will be listed in the gene list panel here. Also, all of the read counts across all the samples will be listed in the samples panel. You can select one of the regions to visualize in the genome browser, and you'll here see the gene model. If you click on the gene model, you will get a pop-up window which will allow you to link to external websites such as DICD Express and DICD Base. You can also explore around this region by either zooming in, zooming out, moving backwards or forwards. Now all of these buttons can be clicked multiple times to amplify the move. So clicking the zoom button twice will zoom out 2x. You can view the coverage for this region by selecting a sample in the samples panel. For every sample that you select, you will see a track below the gene models track for the coverage across the region. You can select multiple samples by using the control key to select individual samples or by using the shift key to select multiple samples at a time. Right now, we're only looking at the coverage across this region. But to look at other types of data, click on the Tracks button. For a given region, along with the coverage, you can also look at things like mappability and splice junctions, as well as a summary track, which will sum up all of the coverage across all of the samples that you've selected. So far, we've only been looking at regions that we've searched for, and then moving around this region by zooming in, zooming out, and moving backwards and forwards but you can also select specific regions of a view by clicking shift and highlighting that region. This will bring up a pop-up window which will allow you to get the read counts or zoom into this specific region. If you click the read counts button, this will add this region to the gene list area as well as add the read counts to the samples panel. Another way to visualize all of this data is to plot it. You can see the plots by going to the plot panel here, you can visualize the coverage across each of the regions that you've searched for as either a bar plot or as a line graph. You can also group the data by different attributes. In this case, you're looking at all of the samples individually because the sample ID is chosen as the grouping factor. You can select a different grouping attribute, such as time point, which will average all of the read counts across all of the samples for each time point. You can now visualize the data as a line graph to see the sequence coverage over time for all of the regions that you've searched for. Hopefully, this gives you an overview of how tbrowse works. If you'd like to get more information about setting up your own instance of tbrowse to view your own data, check out the Google Code page here.